Bishop of Bangalore. I request the audience to kindly stand. I request the audience to kindly stand and welcome our chief guest. Give him a big round of applause. As the chief guests are arriving with joyful hearts, put your hands together. Give them a big round of applause as the dignitaries are approaching the stage. We also have our Monsignor, Reverend Father S. Jayanathan in our midst. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. I request you all to maintain silence as we begin our events. Namaste, Namaskaram, Vanakam and Vandanam. I welcome you all on behalf of Theresian family to this blissful evening. Glory to God. The desire of the righteous shall be blessed, says Proverbs 10.24. Today is a day of joy and celebration as we mark our institution's 90th anniversary, on this day, years ago, our beloved institution opened its doors. It's a special day that reminds us of a 90 years of journey, 90 years of growth, 90 years of unity as a family. From the first brick laid to the last mile shared, our institution has been a place where dreams are born and nurtured. Yeah, every corner of our institution has a story to tell. Stories of friendship, stories of hard work and dedication. Today, we celebrate not only our institution's anniversary, but also the growing spirit of alumni, where the alumni's inauguration will be launched. As we look forward to the future, let's carry the spirit of our institution forward, always reaching for the star. Yes, this is Sa Saron and Rini take the privilege to be here on behalf of Teresian Group to invite with a warm and pleasant evening the most respected dignitaries, honorable guests, alumni members, beloved parents, loving children and all the Theresian family for the deliberate and delegant celebration of the 90th anniversary of the Jewel of the Golden City, St. Trezor's Group of, of institutions. institutions. Give, Give a big round, round of applause. applause. Absolutely, Rini. Indeed. It's time to reflect on our rich history. Acknowledge the milestone that have shaped us and look forward to the promising future that awaits us. As we embark on this journey of celebration, let us embrace the spirit of unity and fellowship that has defined our institution for an coming centenary. Yes, this evening, let's relish the nostalgia of the past, appreciate the present, and eagerly anticipate the future. Join us as we navigate through the journey of memories, achievements, and aspirations on this special celebration, which is blessed beyond bonds. Cheers to the 90 years of excellence. Yes. 
It is better in prayers to have a heart without words than words without heart. As we gather in unity and gratitude, let us anchor our spirits in reverence for this moment of prayer to seek solace, guidance and a shared connection to the divine. Let our hearts be open and our intentions pure as we invoke blessings upon our gathering and extend our collective aspirations to God. I invite our prayer team to share God's blessings on us by leading us in spiritual journey. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 150, verses 1 to 6. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty ferment. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His exceeding greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord of the sun and the stars, we are here this evening to celebrate your blessings upon the Theresian institutions for the past 90 years. We realize that we have been blessed beyond bounds. As we gather here, Lord, we pray for your protection and guidance throughout this evening's programs. May this event bring you greater glory and may it become a reason for us to rejoice, to remember, to rejuvenate and to renew our commitment towards molding the young minds and rested to us. Amen.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? You... Thank you, team, for your praise service. Now, let's enjoy the beautiful truly special and heartfelt prayer dance performed by our Theresian angels. While the hymn Light a candle for peace, light a candle for love is played. I humbly request our esteemed chief guest, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, accompanied by our manager, Reverend Father Anthony Praveen Rajan, to step forward to symbolize an illumination of knowledge and wisdom by lighting the ceremonial lamp.
Light a candle 
that I wish for world peace will one day come true. Light a candle for peace. Light a candle for love. Light a candle that the time. I kindly invite our chief guest, Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, Archbishop of Bangalore and President of the ABB, along with other dignitaries, Monsignor Reverend Father S. Jaina Aden, Reverend Father Jero Sanislas, Parish Priest and Dean of KMD and Reverend Father Anthony Prevey Rajan, Manager and Correspondent, St. Renaissance Group of Education Institution, Reverend Sister Catherine Charles, to kindly take your seats on the dice. Dice. Very pleasant evening to all the dignitaries on the dais, parents and children. It takes me a great joy on such a platform to address every one of you on the monumental celebration of the 90th Jubilee anniversary of St. Teresa's Education Institution. A unit, a unit of, of the Archdiocesan Board of Education, Kola Goldfield. This, this evening is something which we cannot forget, forget in our life. life. The great, great milestone, milestone that this, this institution has reached in the field of gold. For the last, last nine, nine decades, decades, giving education, education value. Teaching moral and ethics in transforming and transcending the lives of 
millions of people in the field of KGP. I take this as a great opportunity to invite every one of you to be part of this great celebration and share our joy as we can conclude this 90th anniversary celebration with the cultural event, event wherein our children are going to showcase their talents, how well our teachers have planned and executed this is they will be organized well. And I am so glad that this day has come true in our life. As I always address my children, there are certain things once in a lifetime we experience and this moment is something once in a lifetime. I am very really glad that this has happened in our time and this happened in your time. All praise and honor goes to God who has given such a beautiful opportunity in KHF through St. Francis Education Institution to touch, touch the life, life of millions of people in KHF for their, their upmanment and, and social, social development, development, moral and, and also psychological support to this institution for the nine decades we've been serving. I take this privilege to welcome our dear chief guest of the day, most reverend Dr. Peter Machado, the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Bangalore, the President of the Archdiocese Board of Education. He is well familiar with all of us. His heart always goes to the people of Keshif. And I am very glad that he is with us today to share and, and add our joy, joy to make, make it humble the great, great inspiration, inspiration that he is with us today. He is, is the head, head of the educational board of the Archives of Bangalore. Under his, his care, under his guidance, guidance, there are thousands and thousands of children in the Archives of Bangalore who have been benefited, benefited the right, the right of education. education. And, and today, on behalf of all, all the Staff and students, students, parents, parents and, and the alumni, I extend a very cheerful and warm welcome to our dear chair guest, most reverend Dr. Dr. Peter, Peter Machado. Welcome, welcome dear, dear Bishop. Archbishop has a great, great love, love for the people, people of Kishin, as, as I said. Last two years, he has established a healthcare health centre which I would like, like to bring to notice of this moment again, the people, people who are come, come. The people of KJ to, to know that, that the Archdiocese of San Bangalore has a great love towards the people of KJ in, in the person of the Archbishop to give the right of medical help, medical, medical ministry, ministry to the people of KJ. And, and the Archbishop, Archbishop wants, wants every one of us to utilize this Opportunity of the healthcare. If you are a picture of you will be able to get a picture of the healthcare. If you are a picture of the healthcare, you will be able to get a picture of the healthcare. I would like to invite Monsignor S. Jayanathan, the Vice President, the Secretary of the Board of Education, 
who has accepted our invitation to be in this evening all the way coming from bangalore it shows how much he has a great love and passion towards all of us last week we had come and he has celebrated the holy presence and prayed for us on behalf of our parents students, students and staff, staff i extend a warm, warm welcome, welcome to mansur julius yes, jayaradhan thank, thank you dear father, father. My, my heart will welcome, welcome to the Reverend Father Jerome Stanislaus, the Paris Priest of St. Therese Church and Dean of, of KTF, a, a warm, a cheerful, a loving, friendly, a person, person who always stands with us to encourage and support and makes us to feel always light when the moments are very tiring and heavy. By his friendly love, I take this as a great honor to welcome the Reverend Father Jerome for this pleasant evening. Thank, thank you, dear Father. I, I thank the Reverend Father, Father Susayas, the former manager, manager of our institution. Though it was, was late time, time, I called him, him but he was so excited to say that and I will be today with all of you and he is with us. I really thank him for making time, time for us this pleasant evening and, and adding, adding a joy with your presence. Thank you, Father, for coming over, over and being with us today. today. I thank, I thank the thank Reverend Sister Catherine Trin J. Charles, the provincial of St. Joseph of the Tarts, for being with us today. Thank you, dear sister. I also thank, thank the Reverend Sister Tessie Joseph, the provincial superior, for being with us today. The sisters are helping us in our school. school. It has been a great moment of joy that both the both provincial and superior are with us in the pleasant evening. Thank, thank you, dear sisters. Sister. I thank, I thank in the absence today, today those who will be the guests of honors will be later to join us. Our, our MLA, MLA the, the, the Rupa Kala, is a special way I have, have to acknowledge the great, great support. support our MLA has extended today, today although there was a bit of a confusion, confusion on this, on this 16th, 16th of December, December but she made, made it possible, possible that, that this, this day happens, happens in this particular venue for, for our celebration. celebration. I, I thank our MLA Rupa Kala in her absence. absence. And also, also welcome her. her. I, I also, also extend my a warm welcome, welcome in the absence. Our, our Prince of Police, K.N. Shantarachu, IPS, will be joining, joining later. later. I, I also, also welcome, welcome Mr. Pawan Kumar, the Municipal Commissioner, for helping us to have this, this municipal, municipal ground. ground. For us today, today, especially during, during the three days, days, and permitting and us to have this, this great celebration. I also, I also welcome in the absence of Mr. Rajendran, the, the municipal, municipal councillor and ex MLA, who will be also, also joined later. later. I, also I also welcome Mr. Ramachandra, the, the deputy PDP caller, caller, old, old caller district. district. We will also be joining later, later. later. And, and Mr. Mr. Muni Venkata Ramachari, the Block Education Officer, will be joining us later. later. My dear my friends, friends, I extend the greatest and, and warmest welcome to all the retired uh, staff, staff of our institution all of you here. I will welcome all the alumni, I will welcome all the parents, I will welcome all the children, and welcome to every one of you for this pleasant evening. I wish, I wish and I request, and I request everyone, everyone to stay till the end, end and, and enjoy the full program of our children and appreciate them. them. I also welcome our, our faculty, faculty, Sister Clara Joseph, Sister, Sister Jesse Joseph, Joseph, and all the our Nancy Fabiana, the principal of the DU College, and all the staff, staff and students. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you, dear Father, for your warm and insightful welcome speech. Your words have set a positive tone for everyone. Now, I request Mrs. Kavita to lead the program.
Thank you, Rini and Sarun. A very warm evening, ladies and gentlemen, respected dignitaries, esteemed guests, dear students, and cherished members of the Theresian family. I am very delighted and honored to be the master of ceremony for today's solicitation program. I most humbly and cordially invite our chief guest, his, His Excellency, Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, Archbishop of Bangalore, the President of Archdiocese Board of Education. He is a simple and hardworking person, and he has great love for the poor. He is a great philosopher, good orator, and an erudite writer. He has been doing great pastoral educational and social developments in the diocese. We are extremely honored to have you amongst us to celebrate the 90th Jubilee of our institution. May I most humbly request our manager and correspondent, Reverend Father Anthony Praveen Rajan, to take the privilege to honor our chief guest. I request the audience to give a big round of applause. He is indeed a motivating and extremely informative person. We are privileged to have you amongst us, Father. I request our manager to felicitate our guest of honor. I most humbly call upon Reverend Father Jerome Stanislaus, Parish Priest of St. Teresa's Church and Dean of KGF Deanery, very humble and kind-hearted person, committed himself to the service of mankind. Our manager, Reverend Father Praveen, will felicitate our guest of honor. Reverend Sister Catherine, Provincial Superior, Sister of Joseph of Taps. We are privileged to have you with us here, Sister. I request our manager to felicitate our guest of honor.
eminent, immensely honored to call upon Reverend Father Susai Raj. We are overwhelmed and thrilled to have you with us, Father. I request our manager to felicitate our guest of honor. Our present headmistress and principal, Reverend Sister Clarka Dizdoza, headmistress, St. Teresa's Girls High School. Very easily approachable person, down to earth person, and she has a great sense of humor. I request our manager to kindly honor her. Jessie Jacob, headmistress of St. Teresa's English Higher Primary School. Very hardworking and energetic person, kind-hearted and always enthusiastic. I request our manager to honor our head headmistress. Honor Madam Nancy Fabina, St. Teresa's Girls PU College Principal, young, energetic, enthusiastic, and a very lovable person. I request our manager to honor Madam Nancy. Now I would like to pass the mic to my co-anchor, Mrs. Nirmala, Vice Principal of PU College. Thank you, Ms. Kavita. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, and all my friends. I now absolutely delighted to express our gratitude through the token of Appreciation. Token of appreciation to Reverend Father Anthony Praveen Rajan, manager and correspondent to Teresian Institution. He is known to be a great visionary who is the backbone of the Teresian family, who has committed himself to service of mankind. In the field of education, I most humbly request our chief guest, His Highness, most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, to felicitate our manager. Give a big round of applause. I now call upon Ms. Diana, my co-anchor, to come over and take forward the program. It's my privilege to invite our chief guest, Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Bangalore, a dynamic personality, his grace, 
Reverend Peter Machado. His charismatic presence is enough to ignite the sparks for the occasion. His simplicity, hard work, and his great love for the poor and family ministries has always inspired us. With all reverence, I request His Grace to kindly render his message. Respected Munsinoh Jainathan, Avika General and Vice President of the ABE and Secretary to my dear father Jerem Stanislaus, the Dean and the Parish Priest, my dear father Suse Raj, the past Dean and also Head of the Institutions here, my dear sister Catherine, the Provincial Sister Clara, the HM, Sister Tessie Joseph, and Madam Nancy, and more than anything else, Father Praveen Rajan, the manager and correspondent of St. Teresa Schools. I'm very happy to be here today to see the 90th year celebrations of this school. It's a big milestone. And surely, I am told that at least 50% of the people in KGF have studied in St. Teresa School at some time or other. I was, I was told that when the mines were active, the mines produced golden minerals the mines produced golden minerals and St. Teresa produced golden hearts such was the importance such was the relevance that most of the students who studied here worked in the gold mines not only in Kolar but also they were luminaries they were stalwarts in Bangalore, in South India, also abroad. There were many who studied in this school here, became corporators, became counselors in England. Check one. Hello, yeah. So I am very happy to be present for this beautiful and memorable Jubilee, the 90th year celebration. In 10 years time, the school will be 100 years old, a century of education. By way of message, I would say that there is a great saying There is a great saint in the Christian tradition named Saint Francis de Sales and he has a beautiful saying he says the heart of education is the education of the heart. The heart of education is the education of the heart. And perhaps St. Teresa has given the education of the heart, not just A, B, C, D, not just one, two, three, but more than that, the education of the heart. The Christian education is based on three big principles. The principle of faith, the principle of hope, and the principle of charity. First of all, faith. To faith, we all believe in God. We have that beautiful scriptural quotation, the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. And therefore, this school is first of all based on faith. 
to see that every religion is respected here. We saw in the welcome dance here, beautifully, the Christians, children sing a Christian song, the Hindu, represented by Hindu dance, so also our Muslim brothers were also represented here. We believe that the person who believes in God will surely will have a fear of God and fear of doing evil in his life and therefore the principle of faith. And secondly, the principle of hope. Christianity never gives up. The Christians never give up. They always are people with hope. They are always people who will say that nothing is impossible. Maybe our, in the school that you have done, may not have scored so many marks, but then you can do well in life. And therefore, we believe that the Christians, the principle is hope. And thirdly, charity or service. We are not selfish. We are educated for the sake of the society, for the sake of the community, and therefore we have to render service to the others. The love of God urges us every time to do good. And therefore, with a good education, based on faith, based on hope, and based on love, we can expect the best in our institutions. I'm happy to say that we have a lot of plans for St. Teresa's school. We would like to put up a new building, school building. And for this, as you know, the old building is very much dilapidated condition. The classrooms are very small. We would like to put up a big new school and new school buildings with your help and support. I am told the alumni of this school are so strong enough they can build not only the school but also the college. So therefore, I make an appeal to the, all the school alumni, ex-alumni to come together and help us and support us in this project of building the school and building the church too. Because the church is a symbol of faith, the symbol of unity here. We would like to build also the church and the school and for this we require your help and support especially of the ex-alumni of the school who are I am told all over the world. They are in Australia, they are in New Zealand, they are in England, they are in Germany, they are in Americas and surely I am sure that they will come together to help us in this. I wish you well. I look forward to your go go centenary, 100 years, though I may not be there, but all of you youngsters will be there. Let us look forward to this golden era of St. Teresa School, for which I thank very much for the Rajan, for the Praveen Rajan, for the interest that he has taken, for all the teachers who have given their life here, and the parents who are supporting us very much. I thank also our brother priests, the parish priest dean, and all the other priests who are with us, and the sisters also helping us. I thank you, my dear parents, for your support, for your love and affection for all of us. God bless you. I wholeheartedly thank His Grace for his inspiring message. Now, I call upon Mrs. Pinky to take us through the next part of our celebrations. I'm very sorry to interrupt. I request the crowd to be quiet. You won't be able to hear anything. And those who are out of the tent, I request the volunteers to see that they are seated. I request the crowd to please maintain silence. Thank you, Diana, ma'am. My heartfelt greetings to one and all. As an alum, I am proud to carry on the legacy of excellence that this institution represents. Here I am to share a few words of proud alumnus, Professor N. Subramani. He is a former professor in English 
who has 35 years of service in first grade college. He is an environmentalist, hedonist, communicator, a motivational speaker, a happy teacher, and can keep adding as he has multifaceted personality. I invite Professor N. Subramani sir to give an introduction on St. Teresa's alumni. A very happy evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you all happy? Can I hear your clapping? All of you? Those who clap will live longer. Today is a remarkable day. I joined this uh, St. Teresa's institution in the year 1957. And I am 71 years old. I have gone up the ladder of the social order. Today, we have Archbishop Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machoda, the President of ABE, the executives, the guest of honors, the invitees, and the future of KGF, all of you. A good life is a collection of happy memories. A good life is a collection of happy memories. On this occasion of the 90th anniversary, a proud moment for all of us, the jubilant greetings and wishes from all the alumni all over the world. Launching of the Alumni Association is the brainchild of Reverend Pravin Raj. When we met a couple of months back, after 90 years of this existence of this institution, he thought of starting an alumni. And the seed is germinating with the law of the website. I am sure it will keep root, branch out, and be a standing stop for the institution of the races. We assure you today that alumni all over the world of St. Teresa's institutions will not only feel proud, feel nostalgic, but also will stand by the institution forever and forever. Thank you. Thank you for your cheerful speech. Mr. Dennis, a highly accomplished chartered accountant, presently serves as a chief financial officer at Westrap, a Denmark-based company. He is instrumental in designing and developing a alumni website that will be launched shortly. I request Mr. Dennis to introduce the ad hoc committee members of St. Teresa's Alumni Association. Good evening and warm welcome to everyone and Respected members and the dais, good evening to you. Uh, today we have gathered to bring back the ovaries and uh, alumni association in front of you. all the dignitaries here. And the association's name is St. Teresa's Alumni Association, which is pronounced as STA, S T A A. And the committee members are the president, Father Reverend Praveen Raj, the vice president, Father Subramani, general secretary, which is me, Dennis, assistant general secretary, Ms. Margaret, 
and the treasurer Ms. Lata H.J. And uh, we all left schools in the past somewhere, some year, and to reconnect, going back to the schools, alumni is the place. And request all the alumni of this prestigious institution to take this opportunity and to be part of this alumni and to do good to the institution which you have studied. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dennis, for introducing the committee members. A journey of 1,000 miles begins with one step. I repeat, a journey of 1,000 miles begins with one step. It's my honor and privilege to invite our Archbishop, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, President of ABE Institutions, to launch our alumni website. I request the ad hoc committee members to join with our bishop in the launching. Login. My dear friends, at this very moment, I would like to acknowledge it is not the brainchild of my initiative. When I was appointed as the manager for this institution, the first thing the Archbishop insisted me to start the alumni in St. Teresa's School. So all credit goes to our Archbishop. Under his blessing and guidance, all the past students of our institution, we will take this alumni to the greater height and we will definitely see that all the past students, you get involved with the family of St. Therese and family. And together we will work for the good of our children, good of the people of KJF, and for the good of the, the Arts and Board of Education. So that's the promise. On behalf of all the alumni gathered here, we would like to thank for Archbishop for taking such keen interest. Every time when I met him, we always made it point that the alumni get inaugurated and start functioning. And today, in the presence of the Archbishop, this alumni is launched, and with his blessing, we will take it to the greatest success. Thank you, dear Bishop. All the alumni, can you just raise your hands? Alumni, just hi for all of you and congratulations and welcome to Theresian family. My dear friends, at this moment I would like to take a moment 
to thank our archbishop he is on another schedule today he has to attend a program in bangalore i am very grateful that he made all the point to come with us and spend at least a moment of joy that he was with us for the initial part of the program and once again on behalf of all the parents staff alumni i extend warmest thanks to archbishop for made it a point with us and thank you for all your blessing and guidance thank you i take this opportunity to thank our archbishop most reverend dr peter machado for launching our alumni website being a part of the alumni community means being a part of a tradition of excellence and innovation now i would like to call our charming and encouraging alumnas mrs srilata principal of mahavi jain school to share a few words my respectful greetings to all the dignitaries of the dais the present day teachers the past day my teachers non teaching staff parents alumni of my batch 1974 1983 and the alumni attendees of other batches and the present day lucky students of st teresa's school and college we are not by mistake a part of teresian family we are being brought to this institution by a firm plan of god but the 10 years we spent in st teresa's was the most ever memorable days in our lives yet but no doubt these years will remain so until our last breath our school st teresa's has a legacy of 90 years it is proud that it has shaped millions and millions of students empowering them and transforming them to be the great citizens worldwide when we look back there is a rich legacy and when we look forward is a very bright future this school has imbibed us with the wisdom of educational pearls and making us set on the path of success st teresa's institution is actually denotes a culture it is not mere a culture it is a culture of excellence it is a culture of empowerment and it is a culture of enrichment i proudly conclude by a word to the parents that your future of your children are in the safe hands and to the students i recommend definitely you will be molded as the best citizens of tomorrow's india thank you thank you ma'am gratitude is the inward feeling of kindness received thankfulness is the natural impulse to express the feelings here i request our pride mrs margaret young women entrepreneur and also the managing director of isayu foods to propose the oath of thanks for the launching of the website thank you thank you being a student of this esteemed institution is a pride to carry this institution has helped us to discover our passion and our dream and we are here very much because of all our teachers and the management of st teresa's institution i express my heartfelt thanks to most reverend 
Dr. Peter Machado for having launched our website, St. Teresa's Alumni Association website. No journey starts without an initiative. A great thanks to our Reverend Father Praveen Anthony Rajan for marking this journey all along, which will leave a legacy. Thank you, Father. I also thank you, all the honored satellite, the guests, invitees, the alumni, and everyone gathered here this evening. A very heartfelt gratitude and thanks to one and all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I re kindly request all the alumni present here, those who have not registered, to kindly register your for the Alumni Association as a member. We're paying rupees 100. And it is available in the entrance of the dais. And over to Mrs. Kavita. My sincere apology to all the fathers. I forgot to welcome you. I welcome all the fathers from the cage of deanery, all the sisters. Kindly forgive me for the late invite. Our reverend sisters and fathers of the cage of deanery, a warm welcome to all of you. And I request all the fathers and sisters, stay till the end, enjoy the program, and have dinner with us. Thank you. Now, let's set the ball rolling. We are going to witness a mesmerizing performance of our student as we are presenting the institutional documentary and report. It will be in the form of dramatization. Hold your seat bills and be ready for this performance. And I request the audience after every performance, encourage the children by giving them a big round of applause. They really deserve that. A very good evening to everyone who have gathered here. Now, oh thank you, thank you so much. Now, we shall have a visual documentary and report presentation of a reputed institution 90 years of leadership, 90 years of achievement, and yes, 90 years of glorious success. Here we present you the documentary and the report presentation through dramatization and dance. Get back your seat to visualize. Thank you. அன்பிற்கும் மரியாதைக்கும் உரிய சகோதரிகளே சகோதரர்களே தங்கவயல் உலகின் மிகவும் ஆழமான தங்கச் சுரங்கங்களில் ஒன்றாக விளங்கிற்று என்பது சரித்திர சான்றாகும் குட்டி அல்லது சிறிய இங்கிலாந்து என்று அழைக்கப்பட்ட கோலார் தங்கவயல் ஆங்கிலேயர்களின் ஆட்சி நடைபெற்று வந்த அந்த காலகட்டத்தில் தங்கச் சுரங்கத்தில் பணி புரிவதற்காக தென்னிந்திய திராவிட மக்களை தொழிலாளர்களாக பணி அமர்த்தினார்கள் தங்க வயலை தனது இருப்பிடமாகவும் செய்து கொண்டார்கள் சுரங்க தொழிலாளர்கள் தங்களுடைய பணி காலத்தில் சுரங்க தொழிலாளர்கள் சொல்லற்கரிய ஏராளமான சவால்களை சந்தித்து வந்தார்கள் சுரங்க தொழிலாளர்களின் குழந்தைகள் கல்வி செல்வத்தை பெருக்குவது என்பது மிகப்பெரிய சவாலாக இருந்து வந்தது இந்த சூழ்நிலையில் கல்வி என்ற மாபெரும் செல்வத்தை அள்ளி தருவதற்காக அன்றைய நேரத்தில் 
ஆன்மீகத்தில் இறைவனுக்காக அர்ப்பணித்துக் கொண்ட கத்தோலிக்க அருட்தந்தையர்கள் தங்களை முழுமையாக அர்ப்பணித்துக் கொண்டார்கள் தங்க வயலில் அந்த வகையிலே தன்னை ஈடுபடுத்திக் கொண்ட அருட்தந்தை ஜெஃபரினோ அடிகளார் எந்த வகையிலே சுரங்க தொழிலாளர்களின் குழந்தைகளுக்கு அளிக்கலாம் என்ற சிறந்த கருத்தை தனது மனதிலே இருத்தி தன்னோடு பணிபுரிந்த அருட் சகோதரிகள் மேரி ஜஸ்டினா மேரி ஜோசபின் ஆகியவர்களோடு கலந்து உரையாடி ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி முப்பத்தி மூன்றாம் ஆண்டில் ராபர்சன் பேட்டையில் புனித திரைசால் ஆரம்ப கல்வி பள்ளி என்ற நிறுவனத்தை நிறுவி சுரங்க தொழிலாளர்களுடைய குழந்தைகள் தமிழ் மொழியை தங்கள் தாய்மொழியை கொண்டவர்கள் ஆனதால் தமிழ் மொழி வழி கல்வியை ஆரம்பித்தார் அத்தகைய கல்வியை ஆரம்பித்த பொழுது எட்டு குழந்தைகள் மட்டுமே கல்வி பயின்றார்கள் கத்தோலிக்க அருட் தந்தையர்களும் அருட் சகோதரிகளும் ஏழை எளிய சுரங்க தொழிலாளர்களின் குழந்தைகளும் கல்வி செல்வத்தை பெற வேண்டும் என்று முழு மூச்சாக முழு உற்சாகத்தோடு அதை அளித்தார்கள் தங்க வயலிலே இந்த நிலையிலே புனித வளனார் அருட் சகோதரிகளின் சபை குழுவினர் இந்த கல்வி செல்வத்தை அளிக்க தொய்வில்லாமல் முழு மனதுடன் முன் வந்தனர் ஏழைகளின் ஏற்றத்தை ஏளனமாக பார்க்கப்பட்ட அக்காலகட்டத்தில் தங்க வயலில் கல்வி கண்களை திறந்த பெருமை அருட்தந்தை ஜஃப்ரினோ அடிகளாரையும் இரண்டு அருட் சகோதரிகளையுமே சாரும் இத்தகைய கல்வி கண்களை திறந்த கத்தோலிக்க கிறிஸ்துவ அருள் தந்தையர்களும் புனித வளனார் அருட் சகோதரிகளின் சபை குழுவினர்களும் தங்க வயலில் கல்வியின் பெருமையை கர்நாடக மாநிலத்தில் சிறந்து விளங்க செய்தனர் என்பதில் எந்தவித ஐயமும் இல்லை இவ்வாறு தமிழ் வழி கல்வி பள்ளியிலே பணியாற்றிய தலைமை ஆசிரியர்களின் பெயர்களை இப்பொழுது நமது நினைவிற்கு கொண்டு வருவோம் அருட் சகோதரி ஜஸ்டினா அருட் சகோதரி மேரி ஜோஸ்பின் அருட் சகோதரி ரெஜினா அருட் சகோதரி அகத்தா அருட் சகோதரி வின்சென்சியா அருட் சகோதரி ஜூலியானா அருட் சகோதரி ஆண்ட்ரூ அருட் சகோதரி கமிலஸ் அருட் சகோதரி சோஃபியா அருட் சகோதரி மரிய அல்போன்ஸ் அருட் சகோதரி மார்சிலா அருட் சகோதரி குளோரியா ராஜு அருட் சகோதரி டெல்பினா அருட் சகோதரி ஜான் தி பிரிட்டோ அருட் சகோதரி கேத்ரின் அருட் சகோதரி ஜோஸ்பின் விக்டோரியா அருட் சகோதரி ஜான் தி பேப்டிஸ்ட் அருட் சகோதரி அமலா ரெஜினா அருட் சகோதரி எலிசபெத் குரூஸ் அருட் சகோதரி பெர்னதெத் அருட் சகோதரி லூசியா மஞ்சுளா இறுதியாக திருமதி திரைசா இவ்வாறு தமிழ் ஆரம்ப கல்வி தொடக்க பள்ளியை தொடங்கிய புனித திரைசால் கல்வி நிறுவனம் தனது வெள்ளி விழாவை சிறப்பாக கொண்டாடினார்கள் என்பது மட்டுமல்ல பல்வேறு நகரின் பகுதிகளிலும் உள்ள மாணவ மாணவிகள் புனித திரைசால் பள்ளிகளிலே சேர்ந்து புகழை பரப்பினார்கள் என்பது மிகையல்ல வாருங்கள் தமிழ் கலையின் பெருமையை கண்டுகளிப்போம் இறையருளும் நல்லோரின் ஆசியும் நண்பர்களின் வாழ்க்கும் குடும்பமாக கூடி வரும் குதூகலமும் பொங்கி பெருகும் நாள் இத்திருநாள் இருள் ஒளிந்து பகைமை மறைந்து மகிழ்ச்சி பெருக்கெடுக்கும் மங்களகரமான இந்த நல்ல நாளில் இசை முளைக்கி நடனம் செய்வோம் இணைந்தொன்றாய் என்றும் வாழ்வோம்
the downtrodden community, especially to the mining workers. In 1944, another milestone was created in the history of our school. Reverend Father Stan Arenjo, parish priest of St. Teresa's Church, known to be a visionarian and a kind-hearted person, committed himself to the service of mankind in the field of education. Father Stan Arenjo extended his support to Sister Joanna. Sister Joanna started an English medium at Veranda of the convent with just 18 students. Century, the area was known for its poverty and lack of education. The toy of our reverend sisters has taken shape not only in education but also in providing boarding for the poor children, medical care, house visiting, pastoral activity, free education, assistance for unmarried women and orphan. of our primary school. Reverend Sister Immaculate, Reverend Sister Jean Marie, Reverend Sister Maria Virginie, Reverend Sister Catherine, Reverend Sister Basil, Reverend Sister Anselmina, Mrs. Sheila Ante, Reverend Sister Jesse Jacob. Namasanta Teresa Shikshana Samste, Karam Bavagi, Tombat to Vashagala Givi, Tombat to Vashagala Sambra Madaliruva, Namasamste, Shikshana Shetra Kinidi Ruva Kudugadanu, Nama Kaji of Jenete Yondigi, Hanchi Kordalu by Sutevi. ಯಾವುದೇ ಜಾತಿ ಮತ ಧರ್ಮಗಳ ತಾರತಮ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲದೆ ಉತ್ತಮ ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟದ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ನೀಡುವಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಶ್ರಮಿಸಿವೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಶ್ರಮಿಸುತ್ತಿವೆ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಾಗಿ ನಟ ನಟಿಯರಾಗಿ ಅನೇಕ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಗುರುತಿಸಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವು ಪ್ರತಿಭಾವಂತ ಸಾಧಕರನ್ನು ನೋಡೋಣ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಾಂತಾ ಎಂ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಕುಲಪತಿಗಳಾಗಿ ರಾಜೀವ್ ಗಾಂಧಿ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರಾಂಶುಪಾಲರಾಗಿ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಎ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಗಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ದರ್ಜೆ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಕೆಜಿಎಫ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದರು ಇವರು ಪರಿಸರ ಸ್ನೇಹಿಯೂ ಹೌದು ಕುಮಾರಿ ಕೀರ್ತನಾ ಪಡ್ವಾಲ್ ಇವರು ಹೆಸರಾಂತ ಸೀರಿಯಲ್ ನಟಿ ನನ್ನ ಕನಸಿನ ಹೂವೆ ಮಧುರ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ತಿರುಮತಿ 
ಬ್ಲರ್ ಮುಂತಾದ ಸೀರಿಯಲ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಟಿಸಿ ಹೆಸರು ವಾಸಿಯಾದ ಪ್ರತಿಭಾವಂತೆ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಗಿನ್ನಿಸ್ ದಾಖಲೆ ಮಾಡಿದ ಪ್ರತಿಭಾವಂತರು ಒಂದು ಟೂಪ್ ಪಿಕ್ನಿಂದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆಂಟು ಚೈನ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಕಲೆಯ ವಿಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಗಿನ್ನಿಸ್ ದಾಖಲೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದರು ಒಂದು ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಕಾಳಿನಲ್ಲಿ ವಿವಿಧ ಆಕೃತಿಗಳನ್ನು ಕೆತ್ತನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೆಸರುವಾಸಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಮಾರ್ಗರೇಟ್ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾಪಕ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರು ಇಸಾಯಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಇವರು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಜಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತ್ ಮೂರು ಸಭೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿದ್ದರು ಇವರು ಸಹ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿನಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದರು ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಸ್ವರ್ಣ ವೇಣುಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಇವರು ಹೆಸರಾಂತ ನೃತ್ಯ ಕಲಾವಿದೆ ದೇಶ ವಿದೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ನೃತ್ಯ ಪ್ರದರ್ಶನದೊಂದಿಗೆ ಹೆಸರು ಪಡೆದು ಅನೇಕ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿಗಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಂಗೀತ ಎಂ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಂ ಡಿ ನರರೋಗ ತಜ್ಞೆ ನೋಬೆಲ್ ಲಾರಿಯಟ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಯುವ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ಪಡೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓದಿದ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಸಮಾಜದ ಸ್ಥಾನಗಳನ್ನು ಅಲಂಕರಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಉತ್ತಮ ಪ್ರತಿಭೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ವಿಷಯವಾಗಿದೆ
dear audience the fan dance of chinese tradition now in indian rhythm With the onset of English primary school, the increasing need for education for girls was recognized. For this, Reverend Father Celestine, the parish priest of St. Teresa's Church, invited sisters of St. Joseph of Tars, a high school, to meet the urgent need for girls' education. Sister Regina, known for being passionate towards the poor and concerned for the improvement of girls education accepted the ideology of father Celestine and upgraded the middle school into high school for girls with english medium of instruction in 1956 
with the support of Reverend Father, promoted peace and tolerance wherever they stepped in. They provided education to the poorest of the present you the portrait of the of our high school sister mary of jesus sister hermine sister josephine uva sister elizabeth mary sister alexina sister rita thomas sister nadine sister rubina josephine sister clara de Zosa. Right up here are the highlighted pearls of achievements which created a legacy by our sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes. St. Joseph of Tarbes of girls education belonging to different regions, castes and tribes and established many schools for boys too which continued successfully till date. St. Joseph of Tarbes paid due attention to technical education and opened various vocational training institution creating entrepreneurship that brought a by their volunteer service focused not only on academic excellence but also on moral values and character development. On the whole, every brick of the institution is piled up with their impression of selfless service in the field of education for the welfare and betterment of the KG of people. Thank you, dear sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes. Here we present you the sparkling performance by our students.
College. To mark a bright future and socialize every woman to be a brave and create a solution to face every challenges like women exploitation, gender inequality, sexual harassment, etc. Establishment of Pew College for women, establishment of Pew College for women is achieved in which another wing is added to enlighten the present generation for a collective changes in local and global scale. To empower women socially, economically, politically, spiritually, Two thousand seven. நினைக்கிறவங்களுக்கு நாம கொடுக்கிற பெரிய தண்டனை
It's a privilege to thank our Archbishop Emeritus, Most Reverend Dr. Bernard Morris, who took keen interest to establish St. Teresa's Girls Free University College, which was sought by Reverend Father Balaya and cultivated by the succeeding manager. who are the gems of our institution. Reverend Father John Rose, Reverend Father John Anthony, Reverend Father Anthony Swami, Reverend Father Susai Raj, and now our present dynamic leader, Reverend Father Anthony Pravindrajan. The success of St. Teresa's educational institution is the joint effort of the three great visionaries. With sincere thanks and gratitude, we bow down to thank Reverend Father Jeffrino, the founding father of our institution, sisters of St. Joseph of Taps, who accepted to provide education service with the spirit of dedication. The diocesan priest who served as a part of management and being a strong player for this institution. With profound gratitude, we extend our sincere thanks to our dynamic and enthusiastic manager, Reverend Father Anthony Praveen Rajan, who contributes enormously for the betterment of the institution. With profound gratitude, our sincere thanks and gratitude for our Archbishop, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado, for accepting our proposal for the construction of the new building. Thank you, Your Grace, for supporting our institution. Our heartfelt thanks from the Teresian family. We thank our manager and correspondent, Reverend Father Anthony Praveen Rajan, the versatile personality and platform for many development of our educational institutions by seeding himself with the best of knowledge for the upliftment of the fellow being who starves for the education. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go. St. Teresa's Group of Institution, a unit of Archdiocesan Board of Education, aims to be the center of excellence in education, where the seeds of all-round development of the child is sown. Our institution is overwhelmed to possess the most valuable resource that any other school can possess. We take immense pleasure and pride to narrate you a report of our achievements and activities of our Esther years. achievements. If you develop a passion for learning, you will never cease to grow. Education is one of the blessings of life. It makes a person to think right. A child without education 
is like a bird without wings. Every child has a right to education. Academic activities that goes beyond the textbooks and classroom encourages a healthy and competitive spirit and effective communication among the students. Now, our children will showcase their academic achievements through theatrical play. Success is a sweet result of hard work combined with the desire to excel and unfailing dedication. Where the school has gained 10% result in the year 2020, we congratulate all the students. A special appreciation goes to S. Varshini, the school topper, who scored 625 for 625 and ranked first in the state. In this moment, we take the opportunity and feel proud to greet Mrs. Vijaya Lakshmi, alumni of the school. Honors the school toppers by rewarding them every year. We also acknowledge Samrita Sen, topper of the PU College, who peddled to make our institution proud. We imbibe the latest practices in the field of pedagogy. For a further career, we provide creative labs, smart classes, online learning, scientific labs, and library with more than 5,000 books for the learning process. Art and science exhibition is conducted every year. It's a great deal of attraction and students passionately contribute to its success. games. It is said that you must practice like you have never won and perform like you have never lost. Sports develop a sense of fraternity among the students to build a team spirit. Bearing this in mind, our institution provides ample opportunity for students to perform regular exercises and participate in variety of games. Our students brought laurels by winning various district and state level tournaments and emerged as champions. We are proud to announce that we created history by winning the championship in sports for a decade. Our students participated and won in marathon race organized by the Dr. in the year 2022 and 2023. Our high school girls team won in divisional level hockey tournament at Bangalore. PU College students selected for national level hockey tournament at Gwalior. District level winners in volleyball, handball, football, netball and hockey. It's a pride for a college students to represent in state level. 
Our students participated in hurdles junior at state level and won the first place. Our primary students won in throw ball and volleyball and zonal level. Our students are black belt holders in karate which is a self-defense skill. For the past decade, our institution proudly holds the overall championship in all the sports and games. Our institution has distinguished in creating energetic and powerful sportsmanship aimed at empowering the future. students an opportunity exposing them to well-structured training programs in various dance and music disciplines like ballet, salsa, hip-hop, folk, western, classical and all traditional forms. Our talented students won prizes in Pratibha Karanji, organized by the department. Our students excel in vocal and instrumentals like guitar, veena, tabla, keyboard, drums, etc. Showcased outstanding performance 
with extraordinary train skills for an online indoor and outdoor shootings based on ethical and spiritual values. Constant trophy holders in national festive programs organized by the department and various other clubs conducted every year brought glorious victory through sheer hard work and determination. Our students have won several prizes in the inter-school and intercollegiate competition and crowned rich laurels to our institution. Curricular activities. Apart from academics, we drill our students in co curricular activities. It is an essential part of education as they strengthen the classroom learning and develop the personality of the child. Special training, seminars, orientation, and counseling programs are conducted for teachers and students every year with dual focus to improve and effectively implement innovative ideas in teaching and learning. Relevant career guidance programs, soft skills and personality development sessions. As we follow the slogan which says, Go green, breathe clean. Our students are motivated to take a step forward in planting saplings, keeping the environment clean through Eco Club by conducting various activities. On the whole, we have the desire to create a dynamic environment to elicit the best of every student. We aim for creating wise leaders rooted in ethnicity and culture to envisage a better future for all. Our mission is to achieve holistic development of students through excellent curricular and extracurricular environment. To conclude, it is kudos to the dynamic and proactive management for providing excellent atmosphere to excel. Mr. Rajendran, our ex-MLA in our midst. It's a privilege to have him as part of our Jubilee celebration. 
we request honorable mr sir to kindly come on the dais to receive the honors i request monsignor father jainadan reverend father anthony pravin rajan and reverend father jerome stenislaus to kindly felicitate him the next program monsignor jain ordens presence here today is not just a mark of honor for our institution but a testament to the strong bond between faith and education that st reese's educational institution upholds his guidance and leadership have been a source of inspiration for many and we are privileged to have him sh share his insight with us I I give the mic to Father Jainadan to give a speech. Dear friends, I know you are not prepared to listen to this speech. But whenever I am invited to give a speech, I put a condition to the audience. Please listen. i put a condition to the audience if you keep quiet if you are silent during my speech it will be short 
if you keep talking my speech will be too long but i may not stop my speech also anbargalai sorpalivukku oru nibandhana naan sorpalivu aatru poludhu neenga pesikitte kuchra pottirundhingalna naan udai nirutha maata thodarndu poyitte irupen neenga aathmire ee bhashana maadadhukku modhalu naan helad enu helidre na bhashana maaduvaaga ne maunavagidre nanna bhashana chikkadagirutte ne maatadta idre adu dodda bhashana agutte dear reverend father anthony pravin the manager correspondent reverend father jerom stanislaus the parish priest and the dean reverend fathers reverend sisters and my dear children my dear parents the staff the students and the obas and also the distinguished guests and um, members of this uh, audience our archbishop has already given the message he left and for the sake of those who came late i would like to convey his best wishes and greetings to all of you his grace has taken a great interest in this institution and also kgf you know kgf is very close to his heart he has christened this place as bethlehem of archdiocese of bangalore the bethlehem of archdiocese of bangalore therefore be in a very special way is taking lot of interest to develop this uh, area the institutions the parishes and father anthony pravin mentioned we have here st joseph's clinic and other skills uh, training institutes here in kgf so let us give him a big round of applause my dear friends a boy was coming every day very late to the school and the teacher asked why are you so late every day you come late what is the reason you know what he said miss the board outside the school is the cause the board outside the school is cause and what is that board the board says school zone go slow school zone go slow anbu petrorgale ning vandirukkira sendra varam nam ange irundhen pillaigalukku naan solli vachana neenga periyavangala irukkiringa moothavargal periyavargal petrorgal irukkiringa ungalukku oru saarthu solla naan virumbrenga குழந்தைகள் வளர்ப்பது எவ்வளவு கடினம் என்பது சொல்ல அவசியம் கிடையாது ஒரு அப்பா அம்மா பார்க்குறாங்க ஒரு குழந்தை அவன் நோட் புக்கையும் புக்கையும் கிழிச்சுட்டு இருக்கிறான் அப்போ அவங்க அப்பா பார்த்து கேட்குறாரு ஏண்டா இந்த புத்தகத்தை நீ கிழிக்கிறேன்னு சொல்லி அப்பா நீங்கள் தானே சொன்னீங்க படித்து கிழிச்சுடுன்னு சொல்லி அதனால் தான் நான் கிழிச்சுன்னு சொல்லிட்டு இன்னொரு பையன் வந்துட்டு அது வீட்டு மேலே உட்காந்து படிச்சுட்டு இருக்கிறான் யாரோ ஒரு வந்த ஒருத்தர் வந்தாங்க விருந்தாடி பார்த்து அவரை கேட்குறாங்க ஏன்டா நீ தளத்து மேலே உட்காந்து நீ படிக்கிறேன்னு சொல்லி எங்கள் அம்மா சொன்னாங்க நீ வாழ்க்கையில் ஒன்றா மேலே படின்னு சொன்னாங்க அதனால் மேலே உட்காந்து நான் படிச்சுட்டு இருக்கிறேன்னு சொல்லி அன்பர்களே மை டியர் பேரண்ட்ஸ் யூ ஷுட் ரியலி ப்ரைஸ் காட் ஃபார் த கிஃப்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் சில்ட்ரன் வென் எவர் ஐ கிவ் ஸ்பீச் ஐ யூஸ் அக்ரானிம் பேரண்ட்ஸ் அக்ரானிம் ஈச் லெட்டர் ஆஃப் த வேர்ல்ட் and communicate a message to you if you take the word parents the letter p stands for parents praise god for your children anbu petrorgale priya poshakare nimma makkaligage ungude pillegalukkage iravane pootrungal praise god they are the special gifts to all of you therefore parents praise god thank god for your children second a stands for parents be available for your children ungalude pillegalukku neengal thevai enave ungalude seve avargalukku thevai be available for your children nimma makkaligagi nee yavaglu labbiyavagirbeku english nalli ondu pada ide vakya vide when i need you if you are not available i don't need you when i need you if you are not available i don't need you when your pay, children need you if you are not available they don't need you in their lives praise god for your children be available for your children all stands for relate yourselves with your children relationship is very very important 
அன்பிரி மக்களை உறவு நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையில் மிகவும் முக்கியமானது ஜீவனதிபதிமுன்னடையலும்ிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிபிப
Thank you, Monsignor S. Jainavadan, for your motivating and encouraging message. Thank you, dear Father. The institutional atom is a unifying force that brings students, faculty, and alumni together. It serves as a rallying cry, fostering a sense of belonging and a pride among the institutions. It instills a shared purpose, strengthens school spirit, and serves as a reminder of the institution's value and tradition. The institutional anthem of the Teresian institution was written by Reverend Father Andri Pravindrajan, music by Mr. Prem, mastering by Mr. Elston, and sung by Royston Anderson, Aruna Winfred Anderson, Twinkle Matthew, and Garnet Diana Lobo. I request the physical education teachers, Mr. Suresh and Mrs. Anna Mary, to give the comments for the institutional anthem. I request all the parents and students kindly stand up. I request, once again, I repeat, I request all the parents, students, please stand up. My dear friends, you know, each institution has an anthem. And that is the anthem when children, they sing together, they bring out the, the spirit of unity and fellowship, and also they invoke the blessings of God. On the happy occasion of the 90th anniversary of this institution, Reverend Father Manager, Father Anjani Praveen Rajan, who is also a good musician, has composed a new anthem for this institution. It is with great joy I declare it inaugurated and wish him all the best. May the, the anthem bind us all into one family and bring in unity among the children and help us to invoke the blessings of God and to go forward, move for, forward with renewed commitment and with renewed spirit. Yes.
Thank you, audience. I would like to ask you to take your seats. See, we have many programs ahead. So please don't exhaust yourself by talking and walking about. I request you to be kindly seated to enjoy many, many number of programs ahead. with the spirit of our alma mater. The beautiful institutional anthem was indeed fantabulous, an emotional moment for all Theresians. No person was ever honored for what they received. Honor has been the reward for what they have given. With all joy and pride, I humbly request our former headmistress and retired teachers to kindly accept the honors as a token of love for your extraordinary service. I urge Reverend Father Anthony Praveen Rajan, Reverend Father Jerome Stanislaus to kindly come on the dais to felicitate our former headmistresses. I request all our headmistresses to kindly come on the dais to accept the felicitation. Reverend Sister Beza, Reverend Sister Amala, Reverend Sister Bernadette, Reverend Sister Elizabeth Cruz, Mrs. Teresa, Reverend Sister Rubina, and Reverend Sister Alexina, kindly come on the desk. I request Reverend Father Jerome to kindly present the shawl and garland, and Reverend Father Praveen to kindly present the memento. give a big round of applause. They truly deserve it.
Alignment, put your hands together. Kindly pick up, give a big round of applause. They are the strong foundations of our institution. Mrs. Glory, Mrs. Savitri, Mr. Pilandran, Mrs. Teresa Mal, Mrs. Shakuntala, Ms. Kalavati. I request Reverend Sister Jessie Jacob and Reverend Sister Clara de Zalza to kindly come on the day. Mr. Mani, Mr. Krishnamurti, Mrs. Mary Helen, Mrs. Dana Lakshmi, Mrs. Rosie Joswin, Ms. Mary Lucina, Mr. Soundar Rajan, Mr. Santosh Kumar. My dear children, my dear parents, 90 years we have been traveling. It's only because we have the, the legends of the past staff. Without their contribution, I don't think this 90 years success could have been a reality today. So on behalf of all the students, staff, and from the Archdiocesan Board of Education, I extend a heartfelt gratitude to all the retired staff of our institution. For your contribution, a great salute. Wonderful angels on the desk, our inspiration in our careers.
ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಶುಭ ಸಂಜಯ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಂತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಎಲ್ಲ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕ ಬಂಧುಗಳ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನಾನು ಸಹ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸಹೋದ್ಯೋಗಿಯಾಗಿ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಿದ್ದು ನನ್ನ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಕಾಣಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆರೆದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಈ ವೇದಿಕೆಯ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿಂತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಒಬ್ಬೊಬ್ಬರು ಸಹ ಮಿಸ್ ಕಲಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಸಾವಿತ್ರಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಮೇರಿ ಹಲನ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ರೋಜ್ ಜೋಸ್ಪಿನ್ ಶಕುಂತಲ ಲೂಸಿನಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಣಿ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಧನಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೌಂದರಾಜನ್ ಸಾರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಇವರಿಂದ ಕಲ್ತಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹದ್ದು ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಇದೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆರೆದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಕರು ಸಹ ಇವರಿಂದ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸವನ್ನು ಕಲ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಅನಿಸಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನು ಬಹುಶಃ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಅಂದ್ಕೊತಾ ಇರಬಹುದು ರಿಯಲಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಇದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಮತ್ತಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಿದ್ದರು ಆದರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಅವರನ್ನು ನಾವು ನೋಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಕುಲಕರ್ಣಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಶರ್ಮಾ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇರಬಹುದು ಹೀಗೆ ಹಲವಾರು ಜನ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಅವರ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಹಲವು ಜನ ಈಗ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರಿದ್ದಾರೆ ವೃತ್ತಿಯಿಂದ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿಯರಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆದರೆ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿನಿತ್ಯ ಅವರು ಈಗಲೂ ಸಹ ತಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯವನ್ನು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಗೌರವ ಸಿಕ್ಕಬೇಕೋ ಖಂಡಿತ ಸಿಕ್ಕೇ ಸಿಕ್ಕುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಪಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಗಳಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಸಹ ಈ ವೇದಿಕೆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಪರವಾಗಿ ಈ ವೇದಿಕೆ ಗಮನಿಸಿ ಈ ಸನ್ಮಾನವನ್ನು ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೃತ್ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಪಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮೇಡಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ teachers i request our tamil higher primary retired teachers and english higher primary retired teachers to kindly come on the dais to receive the felicitation ಪದೆಯಲ್ಲೇ ರಾಜ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಬಾಯಿ ಮಿಸ್ ಮೆರಿ ಸೆಲಾ ಮಿಸ್ ಪುಷ್ಪರಾಣಿ ಮಿಸ್ ಫಾಟಿಮಾ ಮಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಸಾ ಮೆರಿ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಉದಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮಿಸ್ ವೆರೋನಿಕಾ ಮಿಸ್ ಮಂಜು ಮಿಸ್ ವಿಮಲಾ Ms. Margaret Rani, Ms. Isabella, Ms. Maria Gurti, Ms. Malika, Ms. Meera, Ms. Nafisa, Ms. Shashikala, Ms. Dulcin, Ms. Fatima S and Ms. Fatima A, Ms. Kiruba, Ms. Florence, Ms. Hema, Ms. Sandra and Ms. Maria of William. Teachers, please help them. Teachers, please help them. students the toppers who are receiving the felicitation kindly come and gather near the dais kindly all the students come near the dais the toppers kindly come to the left side of the dais Next we have a visual retro dance kindly be ready 
We have an exciting retro dance. After the felicitation, we are going to witness the visual treat from our students, a retro performance. The toppers kindly come to the left side of the desk. Put your hands together, kindly give a big round of applause. A special moment of the celebration, felicitating our retired teachers. Kindly give a big, big round of applause. Thank you, dear fathers. Kindly give them a big round of applause. What a breathtaking sight to see our retired teachers once again on the mm. desk.
and retired teachers. Your presence has truly added meaning and grandeur to our Jubilee celebration. I request the crowd to be patient. We are going to honor the toppers of our institutions. I request the crowd to maintain patience. We are going to have a wonderful performance ahead. We have a retro performance, which is going to mesmerize you. After the toppers. We are going to honor the top-ups first and then we will have, if you maintain silence, don't exhaust yourself by talking and moving about. I request the crowd to be kindly seated, be patient. My dear parents, these are the children who have come toppers in the last board exam. And I told them, if you make me proud, I make you proud. Isn't it? I fulfilled my word today. You made us proud. And today your parents will be proud because you'll be honored today. And all the students and parents, you have to tell your children that next academic year, all the children who write public exams, <coughs> like these children, if they make us proud, I promise that I too will make them proud the next year also. Namma samasthali vidya pesa vanna maadi, rajyakke pratamasthana vanna padadir takkanda hai, out of out, 625 ke 625 padadir takkanda hai, vidya arthi nilu sa hai idare. Delightful evening to one and all. This is Priya Darshini. It gives me an immense pleasure to compare this event. And now it's time to acknowledge our outstanding performers. Excellence is never an accident. It's the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution, and vision to see obstacles as opportunities. Overwhelming elation sweeps us when we have gathered today to acknowledge the most talented category of our institution, who are the star performers of the academics and sports. I request the rank holders, national level sports participants, and toppers. Rank holders and national sports participants to make the first line. And I request the toppers of college to make the second line. Yes. I cordially invite Dean of our esteemed institution, Reverend Father Jerome, to honor our rank holder and national sports participants. I invite Father Alit, Assistant Parish Priest, to honor the rank holders and national sports participants. Varshini, a rank holder of SSLC 2020-21, who has scored 625 out of 625. Give a big round of applause. And now, it's time to honor our national level sports participants. Mary Sharon, Class 7th D, District Level, first and state level participation in hurdles 2023 to 24. Austin Rubin, class 7E, first in karate 2023 to 24.
and 26th Okinawa National Karate Championship winner. Arshita Yemar, second PUC, represented Karnataka Hockey National Championship at Gwalior. Give a big round of applause. Monisha S. Monisha S. Second PUC selected for Hockey Nationals December 2023. And now it's time to acknowledge our college toppers in academics. Sami Uktasin P. Distinction Holder, Centum in Business Studies and Centum in Computer Science. Give a big round of applause. Asna, Distinction Holder, Centum in Business Studies. Bhavna R, Centum in Business Studies and Distinction Holder. Soundarya R, Distinction Holder. Divishri, Distinction Holder. Nichita GP, Distinction Holder. Sentiment Business Study. Sahana, Distinction Holder. Hema, Distinction Holder. Alfia, Distinction Holder. Reza Shanas, Distinction Holder. Irene Sharon Rose, Centum in Business Studies. Kritika Krishna, Centum in Computer Science.
I request the gathering to give them a big round of applause. Dance is the language of the soul, a dialogue without words. It is an exchange of stories, emotions, and cultures. Let us set the evening ball rolling with a mesmerizing dance performance by our extremely talented students. Brace yourself for an extravaganza of rhythm and grace. மாற்றிகளே மகிழ்ச்சிக்குரிய ஒரு செய்தி இப்பொழுது நடன இசை ஆரம்பமாகும் இசைப்பவர் கிளப்பின் புதிய அங்கத்தினர் மிஸ்டர் அழகப்பன்
சங்கீத மேகம் தேன் சிந்தும் நேரம் ஆகாயம் பூக்கள் தூவும் காலம் நாளை என் கீதமே எங்கும் புலாவுமே நாளை என் கீதமே எங்கும் புலாவுமே என்றும் விழாவே என் வாழ்விலே சங்கீத மேகம் தேன் சிந்தும் நேரம் ஆகாயம் பூக்கள் தூவும் காலம் मेरे सपनों की रानी कब आएगी तू आई रुक मस्तानी कब आएगी तू बीती जाए जिंदगानी कब आएगी तू चलिया तू चलिया मेरे सपनों की रानी कब आएगी तू आई रुक मस्तानी कब आएगी तू बीती जाए जिंदगानी कब आएगी तू चलिया
What a mind-blowing performance. Give them a thunderous applause. I wholeheartedly thank the choreographers and of course the parents who have walked behind it. and Dean of Cages Deanery. His vivid and vibrant personality has made him everyone's favorite to share a few words in a signature style. After seeing this spectacular performance by the students and the staff, I don't want to give a big speech. All that I want you is to join me in this slogan, East, all of you repeat, East, or west, louder still, east or west, St. Teresa's is the best. I want the crowd to say this. All the present students, past students, parents, staff, and all those who are involved in this celebration would like I would like to congratulate all of you and once again I ask you to shout with the top of your voice so that the whole KGF should hear this. East or West, St. Teresa's is the best. Hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. I congratulate for the Praveen and the, all the staff members for this wonderful performance and for, for this wonderful celebration. God bless you. If this 90th year itself is such a grand celebration, I am waiting for the centenary celebration. We will all celebrate. God bless. Thank you, Father, for your cheering words. We have still exotic performances in store. Stay right there. The evening is all ours. Due to time constraints of our VIPs, I call upon our highly talented, elegance personified, and our brilliancy in our profession is remarkable. Always high in spirit and very warm at heart, Reverend Sister Jessie Jacob, Headmistress, St. Teresa's English Higher Primary School, 
to show the aroma of gratitude. Honorable and distinguished guests, respected fathers, sisters, and all honored attendees. On this auspicious occasion of the 90th anniversary celebration of St. Teresa's Educational Institutions, we stand in profound gratitude and of acknowledging the divine grace that has illuminated our journey thus far. Today, under the theme, Blessed Beyond Bounds, we come together to express our deepest appreciation to those whose presence and contributions have made this milestone possible. First of all, I thank God Almighty, the source of all blessings, for guiding and blessing our institution with the prosperity, growth, and an enduring legacy of excellence in education. It is with utmost gratitude that we extend our sincere appreciation to Archbishop Most Reverend Dr. Peter Machado for gracing our 90th anniversary celebration as the chief guest, though he is attending another function now. His prayerful presence, profound message, words of encouragement, and unwavering support have added immeasurable value to this event. His spiritual leadership and commitment to education have left an great mark of honor on our community. Our heartfelt appreciation goes to Reverend Monsignor Jainadhan, Vice President and Secretary and Treasurer of AB, who graced our celebration with his esteemed presence and message. As a pillar of the Archdiocesan Board of Education, his dedication and guidance have played pivotal role in shaping the educational landscape of our institution. To Reverend Father Jerome Stanislas, the esteemed parish priest of St. Teresa's Church and Dean of KGF, we express our gratitude for gracing this occasion with the spiritual grace and leadership. Thank you, Father Jerome. A heartfelt thanks go to Reverend Father Anthony Praveen Tajan, our manager and correspondent, whose multifaceted talents as a manager and correspondent of Theresian institutions have elevated our celebration to new heights today. In expressing our heartfelt appreciation to him, we recognize his exceptional contributions to the success of, our, of this mega event. Not only has he demonstrated administrative prowess, but his talents as a composer YouTuber and music director have added a unique and delightful touch to our celebration. We are truly fortunate to have a leader of such diverse talents steering our institution forward. His tireless efforts in planning and executing the mega event reflect a dedication that goes beyond the call of duty. Thank you very much, Reverend Father Praveen Tajin. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to Reverend Father Susairaj, our esteemed former manager, for gracing this occasion with his presence. His significant role in the administration during his tenure has left a lasting positive impact on the institution. It is with deep honor and gratitude that we extend our sincere thanks to the Honorable Sir Babu Sir, the Physical Education Officer, 
who is present with us here now. May I call upon Sir Babu to the dais. May I call upon Reverend Father Praveen Rajan to honor him. We express our sincere gratitude to Sri S. Rajendar, Municipal Councillor and former MLA for honoring us with his presence. Our deepest gratitude to Reverend Sister Catherine J. Charles, Provincial Superior of Sisters of St. Joseph of Taps and all SJT sisters who have dedicated 90 years of service to our institution propelling it to remarkable heights. Thank you, dear Sister Catherine, though she is not present here, and all SJT sisters. We extend our heartfelt recognition to the former headmistresses, principals, retired staff, and the present headmistresses and principal for their tireless dedication to our educational institution. Their collective contributions have shaped the in institution's legacy, and we are truly grateful to each one of you. Our sincere gratitude goes to the alumni ad hoc committee members for their dedicated efforts in inaugurating the Theresian Alumni Association and launching the website today. Their commitment to fostering alumni connections and preserving the institution's legacy is truly commendable. We thank them for their hard work and vision for the future. A heartfelt thank you to all teaching and non-teaching staff who worked diligently through various committees for the success of our program today. Their collaborative efforts, commitment, and attention to detail have played great role in making this celebration a resounding success. We appreciate their hard work and dedication to the institution. We extend a special honor to Madam Helen Priya, teacher of St. Teresa's Girls High School, for her exceptional contribution as the main choreographer of the documentary and cultural event of today. Her creativity and dedication have added unique and vibrant dimension to our celebration, and we express our deepest appreciation for her outstanding work. Now, we would like to express our sincere appreciation and gratitude to her by offering a memento of appreciation. May I call upon Reverend Father Praveen Rajan, our manager, to do the honors. Madam Priya, please come to the dais. Helen Priya, ma'am, please come to the dais.
Thank you, Father. Our sincere thanks to Father Robin for his remarkable contribution to the upcoming instrumental concert and carols. Our gratitude to Master Tin Paul for the upcoming enchanting classical dance performance. We extend our heartfelt appreciation to the Theresian students for their presence, enthusiastic participation, and exceptional performance, which not only showcased their talents, but also reflected their unwavering dedication and hard work. Their dynamic involvement has undeniably elevated the spirit of celebration, creating an unforgettable and joyous occasion for everyone involved. Hearty congratulations, my dear students and kids. We are very proud of you. I cordially extend our thanks to the parents, guardians, well-wishers and everyone present here for their presence that have made this celebration truly memorable. Thank you, dear parents, for your support and cooperation. We extend special appreciation to Mr. Karthik, a dedicated alumnus of St. Teresa's, for his outstanding videography and LED display services. His tireless efforts from the event's inauguration to the present day have greatly enhanced the visual experience of our celebration. Thank you, Mr. Karthik. Our sincere appreciation goes to Mr. Parini and his team, responsible for light and sound, tent and stage preparation, creating a visually stunning atmosphere here. In closing, I extend our deepest gratitude to everyone who has contributed to the success of this grand occasion. Your collective efforts have made our 90th anniversary celebration truly blessed beyond bounds. Thank you, one and all. May God's grace continue to shine upon us all. Thank you. Thanks, Emilia. My life is in this town, and I ain't going down. You think that I am crazy, but I don't want the crown. My life is Moving on to the most desirable part of an event, dance is the hidden language of soul, and the flow, it's a language that doesn't rely on words, but emotions and expressions. It's my pride to present Chinu Paul, he's a PU student of St. Vincent Patoli PU College. He began his training in Bharatanatya, a traditional dance that incorporates geometric movements and rhythmic food patterns. He's a student of Vaishnavi Natyashala from the age of 12. In addition to Bharatanatyam, he's also trained in Western dance and also shows interest in sports. He has won many medals and trophies in sports. I'm extremely open to welcome a young, talented dancer who's an outstanding performer with the fervor of traditional styles. I call upon Mr. Tinu Paul to grace the stage with his alluring and flawless performance. My life is in this town and I ain't going down. You think that I
Mr. Das, the parents of Tinu Paul, Medi Parmar Ketkul Gindin, Mr. Das. Father Robin is newly ordained priest to Archdiocese of Bangalore. He is placed as an assistant parish priest of Our Lady of Victory's Church. He has the ability to play more than 50 instruments. He is a multifaceted personality filled with enormous talents and also a young star who renders his support willingly to all the institutions with their various programs. I humbly invite Father Robin to mesmerize the stage with a soulful instrumental performance. Ladies and gentlemen, immerse yourself in the right of colors 
and the rhythm of music as we begin our celebration. Check, check. Hello, everybody. Can I hear some Teresians here? Yeah, nice vibe going around here. And we all witnessed brilliant dance performances. And one thing was pending what is called music. How many of all are music lovers here? Raise your hands and give a shout. Woo! That's so cool. All right. So now I'm going to perform to you something called as beatboxing. I know some of you all must have heard it. And here comes a demo of beatboxing. Beatboxing is nothing but playing the drums with your mouth. All right. So I all want to, do you all want to listen to beatboxing? All right. Uh, can I get some bass on this mic? All right. Let's listen to some drums. So, just a sound check. I was testing this mic. I want some bass on the mic, please. Little more. All right. So, this drum kit you all must have seen. A round bass drum called the kick drum. And two plates. And a round snare drum here. So, that is the drum kit. And you know, if you know these sounds, these three sounds, you can play drums in your mouth. It's like... I want you all to play with me also, right? When I say, I want you all to clap. All right? That was nice. So, I would like to tell uh, all of you all a story. I usually te tell children this story. That is, in the night, a small mosquito was lingering near my ears. <coughs> all right. And this mosquito bit me. I woke up and I saw that mosquito beatboxing with me. You know what? Are you all playing drums with me? I can't hear you all. I want you all to hear me, okay? One, two, three. Clap. All right. So, this mosquito was beatboxing like me. And I was like, you know what? I am in KGF. And we have a special music for KGF, okay? And that is called? Tapang! How many of you all know Tapang here? Ah, so it goes like... I was doing this to the mosquito and mosquito listened to it and it was like, you know what? I also can impress the cage of people, Teresians, okay? You know what the mosquito did?
So this was what the mosquito did that day. And one more thing I want you all to share. We all heard Father James saying, East or West? Teresa's is the? Yes. Shall we do it with little beatboxing added? East or West? Teresa's is West. East or West? I want you all to clap. One and sing with me, okay? One, two, three, start. East or West? Teresa's is best. East or West? Teresa's is best. Can I give a round of applause for Teresians? For all of you? All right. So uh, I would like to show you all some instruments as well. So I have bought a couple of instruments with me. I request a stand. Can I get some reverb on the mic? Echo. So, are you all enjoying music with me? <laughs> so, before you could come and uh, get this done, I would like to show you all what is called the mouth organ. This is for all Tamil fans, all elderly people here, okay? I want you all to find out what song is this, okay? What song was that? Super, super. Okay, so, while I play the mouth organ, if you add some beatboxing with it, you know how it would sound? how mouth organ beatboxing sounds. And I hope uh, you all know how, what, this, uh, what is this instrument called, right? You know how I play this? You know how I play the flute? I don't play the flute, I play with the flute, like. So. This is called the flute and uh, you know I would like to add some beatboxing to this and you know here it sounds like this. We have one more instrument. This is one of my favorite instruments. This is also an instrument in the flute family, but this is called a recorder, and this is how it sounds. You all want a Catholic song or a movie song? 
I'll play what song. You should tell me what song is this, okay? What song was that? One me puri liya. One me puri liya. All right, I was just kidding. Okay, so playing the beat, uh, uh, doing beatboxing with this instrument, it sounds like this. So that was the recorder and finally I have a big instrument to show you all and I'll get it. So can you guess what's this called? PB. This is called the saxophone. I want some more volume on the mic and uh, some echo. So this is one of the toughest instrument I've ever learned and it's still tough for me, it's a challenge, I keep learning now and then and uh, here's what I want to play for you all. Find out what is this. So thank you all. Thank you for the Praveen for giving me a stage and see you all of you. I would like to thank Father Robin, our youngest, his youngest brother. <laughs> he has come newly to our cages. And we know that we have had a very good time now. How his mouth has brought a lot of music. You know, Father is highly talented in music. He is interested in music and he also interested to teach music. How many, you know how many instruments Father Robin knows to play? Shall we ask him? About uh, 50 different kinds of instruments. Five zero. Around 50 instruments he knows to play. So we give him a good round of applause. Still more louder. So we thank him when I asked him that today you can make this best use of this platform and that and he has really made us happy and I thank him for taking our invitation and giving us such a beautiful musical presentation. 
So on behalf of the Theresian family, I would like to honor for the Robin, not only for this program, but also you have been training our uh, choir groups and also teaching them the new hymns. Huh? Thank you. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. As we celebrate our Jesus Christ this month as a December month, Christmas Day. So we look forward for the new year also. May our hearts be filled with hope, peace, and joy. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. The tableau gets started. I wish you a very happy Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Filled with the blessings, prosperity, and abundance. May you be proud to be a Teresian and the parents of this institution, the principals, manager, our priest, priests, and uh, our XMLA. So I wish you people to have this uh, good day. May you be surrounded by love and warmth during this special time. Kids, move in front. Go in front. Many, many years ago in the land of Israel, the people were waiting for a very important event. They heard the old story that one day God was going to send them a new king. A king who would protect them, bring them peace, and give the people more freedom. When is the new king going to come anyway? Our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents promised he would. They said he was coming. Yeah, but when? Then, one day, in the town of Nazareth, a young woman named Mary had a most amazing visitor. An angel. Who are you? Please don't be afraid, Mary. I am the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? God has chosen you from all the women of the world to be the mother of his son. God has chosen me? How can this be? Everything is possible with God. You will have a son. He will be the son of God. And you will call the baby Jesus. Whatever God wants, I will do. Mary loved a man named Joseph. One night, an angel came to Joseph in his dream. Joseph, God has great and wonderful plans for you and Mary. Mary is going to have God's son. He will be God's promised king. Give him the name of Jesus and take good care of Mary and the baby king when he comes. Mary. My Mary.
Soon after, Mary and Joseph were married. It was right about at this time that Augustus Caesar, the emperor of the whole Roman Empire, wanted to count the people who lived under his ruling. Everyone was ordered to go to their hometown so they could be counted. Joseph had to take Mary to Bethlehem, the town where he was from. Bethlehem was very far away. Excuse me, Shepherd. Do you know how far Bethlehem is? It's a long trip. 70 miles from here. Don't worry, Mary. I won't. I feel very safe with you, Joseph. For you see, Mary was expecting the new baby to arrive soon. Thank you, Shepherd. God be with you. And, and with, with you, you too. too. By day, they traveled many miles. Halfway there. I'm sure we'll be there in no time. Here, Mary. It's nice and cool. Thanks. I'm so thirsty. <sighs> Excuse me. Do you know where the inn is? Sure, it's right at the end of this street. It is? That's wonderful. Thank you, little girl. You're welcome. God be with you. And, and with, with you, you too. too. It was closer than we thought. sleep in the kitchen. But we've been traveling for days. What's going on here? They want a room. What else? Uh, I'm sorry. We really have no more space at all. My wife is very tired. We came from very far away. Yes, so have a lot of people. And my wife is expecting a baby. I'll tell you what I can do. We have a stable out back. It's full of animals, but at least you'll have a roof over your heads. It'll be warmer and safer than sleeping out in the open. Thank you. You're very kind. Come, I'll show you. You have some important company. I hope you'll be comfortable here. It's the best I can do. Thank you. We're very grateful. Let's try and make the best of it. During that night, a most wonderful thing happened. The baby was born, God's little son. We'll call the baby Jesus. Jesus. Mary and Joseph loved their new baby boy very much. I must wrap him to keep him warm and comfortable. The ox's feeding box. Jesus can sleep in here. And so the baby Jesus lay in a manger, surrounded by the warmth of love and the protection of God, who was now ready to let all of heaven spread the news of the baby's birth. That night, just outside the town of Bethlehem, shepherds were watching their sheep. Ooh. 
Greetings. Oh, oh, ah, oh. Don't be afraid, shepherds. I bring good news of great joy. Tonight, a most wondrous thing has happened. Here in Bethlehem, the Son of God was born. He is Christ the Lord, the King that comes from God. His name is Jesus, and he is wrapped snugly in a manger. A manger? You can see him right now. It is the happiest time of the world. Whoa! Ow! A king in a manger? Right here in Bethlehem? I always thought he'd be in a palace. Let's go into town and see what the angel's talking about. Let's go into town and see what the angel is talking about. I just said that. Then let's go. Whoa! Whoa. This way. The angel was right. Look. He's really there. Hello there. What brings you here? We came to see the baby sent from God. We know about him because an angel came and told us. Then many angels came and sang about God's glory and peace on earth. The angel said he'd be wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Just like this. True. What the angel said is true. The Son of God. The King in a manger. Mary's heart filled with wonder as the shepherds told their story. She knew that her newborn child was the Son of God. Meanwhile, in the far distant lands of the East, wise men who study the stars saw something new in the sky. men traveled far from the east. They kept following the star, never taking their eyes off it, not knowing where it would lead them. The wise men followed the star right into Bethlehem. And there, right above the manger, was the star. The wise men knew they had been guided to the right place. <gasps> We've traveled from distant lands to celebrate the newborn king. May we come in? Please. because of the star. We followed it all the way here. We have brought gifts. The wise men gave Jesus gold and sweet-smelling perfume and incense. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for letting us worship the king. We thank God for his great wisdom. He has sent us his son. <laughs> Praise be to God. Hooray for the new king! Praise be to God! Hooray for the new king! Everyone rejoiced and thanked God for sending them his son, the new king 
of the world. பாருங்க <laughs> ये 
ஏழைகளை உயர வைக்க ஏழையாக பிறந்தாரே இயேசு ஏழைகளை உயர வைக்க ஏழையாக பிறந்தாரே எல்லோக்கும் நச்செய்தி தந்தாரே எல்லோக்கும் நச்செய்தி தந்து வாழ வைத்தாரே ஏழை எளிய மக்களுக்கு இரையாட்சி கொடுத்திடவே இயேசு சாமி வாட வந்தாரே பாவம் இல்லாமலே நம்மோட இயேசு வாட வந்தாரே பாருங்க வாருங்க இங்க இயேசு ராசாவ வந்து பாருங்க சாவ வந்து பாருங்க ஏழசனம் சாபம் போக்க எங்க இயேசு ராசா பிறந்தாச்சிங்க ஏழசனம் சாபம் போக்க எங்க இயேசு ராசா பிறந்தாச்சிங்க பாருங்க After the carols we are going yes. to have a grand I finale I request the audience to please be seated and be patient till the end we have wonderful dances and I request all the children to be present backstage for the grand finale Yes I am Major Rajita serving in Indian Army commissioned in the military nursing service in 2010 completing 14 years of service almost i was posted at various locations in india including jammu and kashmir it was my heartfelt wish to be witnessing this grand event and to be the part of this alumni meet but unfortunately i couldn't be there because fortunately i am part of this year's republic day parade 2024 i'll be marching at the kartavya path from parliament to the red fort on 26 jan 2024 so right now i am at delhi practicing for the same I am a proud alma mater of St Teresa's Girls High School from 1999 to 2002. Whatever I am today, where I am, wherever I am today, all the credit goes to my school for the strong foundation of discipline, high moral values and hard work that was instilled in me. 
My only strong message to today's generation is what you are is the thoughts that you breed in your mind and you are what you choose to become. When it comes to choosing the profession for your future, we can always choose comforts over difficulties. We can choose the most lucrative jobs where we earn so much that money no more matters to you. But yes, there are professions that are quite out of box and that don't sound fancy and they are not in trend. Defense services is one such profession, my dear friends, that I want to tell each one of you that while you serve for the nation, sacrificing your comforts, staying away from your family, missing every occasion of celebration with your family and friends, being posted at the toughest location where you don't even imagine life to be existing there, shouldering the responsibility of safety and well-being of the nation directly, believe me friends, you'll carry a great sense of satisfaction at the end of the day and the feeling of life worth lived at the dawn of your life. In this digital era, where every information is just at the swipe of your finger, with my little experience, I could personally uh, notice that there is a lacuna in the awareness about joining different services. Especially in the southern part of the nation, we are a little less sensitized because I've seen lesser people joining the different services, especially when it comes to the women in parity with the northern states of India. By saying so, I do not really underestimate the contributions of my counterparts in various fields, be it in the corporate jobs or working abroad, they'll never go unnoticed. They are directly contributing to India's GDP, bringing our nation the name and fame, making better positions for India in the global economy. Ultimately, wherever you are, whatever you are, you give your 100%. Excellence and hard work never goes unrecognized. It's your choice ultimately to fit into which box, make wiser decisions. I want to convey my heartfelt gratitude to the school authority, especially Prabhakar sir and Sharon sir for giving me this wonderful opportunity to give out this message. Thank you so much, St. Teresa School and everyone for patient listening. I would like to end this with a quote that Master Mani had once mentioned in our model science class. My dear students, life is not a bed full of roses. But dear friends, make it worth lived. Thank you so much. Jai Hind.
Check. Hallo.
Wow, what a way to end our Jubilee celebrations with baby Jesus in the midst of us. Hearty thanks to all the participants and the in-charge teachers. I would like to take this moment to thank the multi-talented teachers and choreographers who have helped these students prepare for this spectacular event. Their guidance and support has been invaluable. We would also like to acknowledge the parents and their families of these students. Without your encouragement and support, they wouldn't be where they are today. Now, let's give them a thunderous of applause, our teachers and parents. 
with okay, us. Okay, let's get started with the grand finale. Sit back, fasten your seat belts because our children are going to rock the stage. After, after this grand finale, I request all the teachers to be assembled in front of the stage for a photo session.
சீமான்களே சீமாத்திகளே மகிழ்ச்சி கூறிய ஒரு செய்தி இப்பொழுது நடன இசை ஆரம்பமாகும் இசைப்பவர் கிளப்பின் புதிய அங்கத்தினர் மிஸ்டர் அழகப்பன்
Hello. The program is winding up with a great success. Thank you to your audience. Parents, you can take your children back. I request all the teachers 